What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, and I just got done with workout. So I figured, what better to do than to come at you all after my workout? I've had a lot of you all ask me questions. I go to camera, right? I had a lot of you all answer, ask me questions about where I started in weight loss. Uh, as far as finding the perfect workouts for me. How often did I work out in the beginning? How intense were my workouts in the beginning? Did I lift? Did I just do cardio? What did I do? Well, this is an honest to God truth about my weight loss. Um, when it happened, honestly, a bulk of the 100, almost 100 pounds, nearly 100 pounds that I lost, went away um, about... I want to say within that year, within one year is when it happened. Um, however, I often tell people, yeah, it took me that year, but it took me about six months before that to actually learn how to and get into the flow of workouts and eating correctly in order to have effective and adequate weight loss. So I'm going to start from ground zero. Here we go again. Um, when I first started, when I went into a gym, I really, I mean, other than like high school and, you know, little workouts that I did then. And when I was younger, I played, I did a little gymnastics and basketball track, stuff like that. But I really did not know how to work out other than playing like a formal sport or doing something of that sort. I really didn't know how to. So when I re first went into a real gym, I was very confused. I'm not going to lie to you all about this. Um... I was embarrassed because I felt like I was the biggest girl there. And furthermore, I didn't really know how to work out. You know, I was kind of ashamed of what I would look like and things like that. But what I did was every day I would walk around the gym, look at the different, um, not every day, let's say five, four days a week is what I started off with. Specifically, I started off four days a week. I would walk around the gym and I would look at the different equipment. Um, I knew that I had done a little research, which you guys need to start to do. Research the most effective ways to lose weight for your body type. Um, and not even just your body type, how to effectively lose fat. So I knew that I knew I needed to engage in higher intensity cardio mixed up with some lifting. So um, I started doing... Uh, elliptical machine that was easy and I knew I was familiar with it so I would make myself do about 30 minutes on the elliptical after I would leave the elliptical I would go upstairs and I would try to make myself run about 10 laps I say upstairs because it was my school gym at the time and I would go upstairs and I would run about 10 laps and then I would do the stair climber for maybe 10 minutes so that was my cardio now don't get me don't get it twisted I was no pro at any of them. Um, I was probably burning about 200 to 300 calories because I really didn't know how to have an effective workout. Now, it takes time and it takes practice. However, people say, well, can I start off little and then work my way up? You want to challenge your body. However, you don't want to have it be such a challenge that you don't return to working out. So the trick is to have fun Get engaged, have some uncomfortable moments while you're working out because it's going to get uncomfortable if you're working out hard and then get familiar with it. The more and more you push yourself at that perfect pace, not too much to where you'll be so sore that you refuse to work out, but just enough that you in the next morning feel like you've really done something great for your body. You have that little soreness, a little more tightness you'll continue on with the workout. That was the key. So I will say I started off with about four days a week. Four days that were, you know, okay. But as I started to lose a little weight, and when I was heavier, a lot of women have asked me, you know, and they think this is embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed in the least. I'm proud of what God has blessed me with at this point. I'm proud of my body. Um, and I was proud of it then. Don't get it twisted. I wasn't happy with it. But at the same time, I was proud of it. A lot of people have asked me, well, when you were bigger and you were running and all of that, wasn't you jiggling and moving and all of that? You know what? That came with the practice. If you continue to be consistent 
Research says after 17 workouts, it becomes a routine for the body. The body will actually crave effective workouts if you do it 17 consecutive workouts. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean every day, but after 17 workouts, I shouldn't have said consecutive. I'm sorry, y'all. But after 17 workouts, you'll start to feel like this is being effective. I can do this. This is a part of my routine. The body will want it. So in jiggling and all of that, I almost saw that as burning more calories. Heck, I was sitting there jiggling, moving, whatever. But guess what? The skinny girls next to me wasn't even breaking a sweat. So the way I felt was I was coming to get down to business when I came to the gym. I was getting it on. So in the beginning, I was strictly gym. And I would suggest that I don't feel that, you know, if you don't have money, you don't have to do the gym. Invest in a few tapes and everything. But if you can, try the gym um, because it will make you go outside of your comfort zone. Because sometimes when you're not really motivated, it's hard to make yourself work out at home. The way that I start to move into my at-home workouts, like uh, you all have seen some of my videos, I am an intense workout person in my own home. Um, I believe in doing, I don't just do home workouts. I do like to go outside and run a few miles. Um, one summer, I spent almost the whole summer in the gym. This was last year, so I was, I guess you consider me in shape. Uh, I was running eight miles every other day. So that was a crazy summer but that was a fun summer so you'll find something every time you get better that will challenge you even more so yeah you want to start low but you still don't want to start so low that you're not really making an effective difference you want to start low enough to be able to burn enough calories to see at least a two pound turnover every week um and in that i would say um continue to research different workouts workouts for beginners a lot of times now dvds are making um the workout with an advanced person and also a person who doesn't do it in an advanced manner so they're an intermediate level they're a lower level um so everything doesn't have to be hard someone made a comment about um even my girl my girl high maintenance made a, a comment about um me being able to work out with Jillian Michaels. Well, you can alter Jillian Michaels workouts. You don't have to do them as hard as she does. And she makes that clear. Yeah, you might be sitting there like, oh, she doing this. I better do this. No, if you can't do it, don't do it. But the goal is to make it to the end. The more you make it to the end of something, you're going to want to push. As far as lifting, I started off doing cardio every day of that four days. And then I would eventually lift twice in a week. So I would add in two days of lifting along with cardio. Now my cardio would be cut off about 10 to 20 minutes. So if I was doing cardio, let's say an hour, then I would only do 40 minutes on days of lifting. So that was how I did it. Um, and then again, people will say, well, you're strong and you No, we all are. I was at that vulnerable point too, guys. There's no excuses. Didn't we say we was putting the X in excuses? Let's let's make an X out of our excuses. Stop saying that. No, I'm no stronger than you. You can do this. If you are willing to push yourself, you can do this. I'm sure there are many men and women that said that they could not do something, but they've done it. It is doable. I'm standing before you as a person who was once. 220 pounds and even probably plus a few pounds over 220 so therefore you can do it it's not impossible um push yourself daily every day even if you push another two minutes that's adding to your wealth that's adding to how much you were able to do before and a lot of us shortchange ourselves just continue to work hard. Now, when I started hitting uh, the gym really hard, um, it had to be, <clears throat> I want to say, at least six months into the game. You know, I was pushing those four or five days, playing around with that. But eventually, I got myself a good workout buddy who was going seven days a week. Now, at first, I was like, I ain't doing no seven days a week. I'm losing a few pounds. You know, I'm doing good, losing about two pounds a week. I was doing really good with my two pounds a week. But 
this young lady was phenomenal. She was going in that gym and she was hitting it hard. And seeing her hitting it hard made me hit it harder and made me go seven days a week. So I was doing, I was doing, I want to say four strict days of cardio in like an hour and a half. Like an hour and a half on a Nordic track, which uh, the Nordic track tread that makes you feel like you're walking through sand. It goes up and down. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but you can get the same effect. Uh, by doing an elliptical at a higher level or doing the stair climber at a higher level. So I was doing that for like, I want to say like 90 minutes some days I was doing that thing. And then, you know, on days that I wasn't doing that, I would do it for like an hour. And then I would go lift for like 30 to 35 minutes. So I was getting it in. That's when I saw change. Like my body was like five and six pounds sometimes a week. Are you serious? I remember one month, I didn't weigh myself for like three weeks. I think the difference between the first week and the end of that last week was like, I want to say like 15 pounds. It was crazy. But I wasn't starving myself. I was still hitting between my 1,200 and 1,500 calorie mark. But I was hitting it hard in that gym. I was getting it in. And I don't care what anybody says. You cannot just control the calories that you consume. You need to be active. So where did I start? I've told you all. Where do I end now? Uh, I still work out about six to seven days a week now. Because it becomes so infectious. I, I love to do it. It's fun. It makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. And now I focus more on toning and making sure that my body looks trim, making sure that it's not just a skinny body, it's a body that looks toned and well put together. You know, I, I want to make sure that my body has the ultimate look to it, something that I'm proud of. Um, but you don't have to go that hard in order to do well. Uh, but I suggest that every time you hit the gym, you're thinking of more to do. Don't just be happy with doing 15 minutes. You know, get your 15 minutes in if you can only last, but push yourself to do something else. Another thing I would do is I couldn't always stay intense for a whole hour. Don't, don't think I was always highly intense or running hard for the whole hour. I would do something where I would be totally intense for like 20 to 25 minutes. Like no matter what it was, the elliptical, the stair climber, I was hitting it hard for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But then I would kind of slow it down, get a little slower pace. And then I would pick it up again, pick it up again, pick it up again, maybe another 10 minutes. Then slow it down about two to five minutes. And then I would pick it up again until the, it was over. And science proves that a mixture, a workout like that works well for the body because it confuses the muscles. It confuses the body and it allows you to lose more fat. So keep that in mind. As far as working out at home, I really didn't get into that until eight months in the game. I started getting interested in looking at things online and heard about Jillian Michaels, heard about The Biggest Loser having DVDs, all the DVDs I've showed you all in previous videos. So check those out if you want to get some ideas on those. Uh, but I started to look at those and that's when I started working out at home. But at that point, I had reached a certain level of dedication. Um, and it takes... It takes a lot of discipline to want to do that too, but it's really doable. It's doable to just work out at home and get a good looking body. Most of my workouts take place in the home and I've been able to achieve phenomenal results. I mean, in my opinion, coming from a 220 body to the body I'm in now, which is about 130 or a little bit less, I feel that I have fulfilled what I need to fulfill. So. You can do that as well. Um, guys, we're going to continue to talk about even more workouts in the more more of these one-on-one uh, -on -one series because I have a lot more to present to you. Um, but don't be intimidated so much. Continue to push harder through your workouts. Don't think that you have to start where Beautiful Brown Baby Doll started. Don't think that you have to start just there. Continue to push yourself beyond where you were yesterday. That's the key. That's the key. Don't compare yourself to little Susie or, or Larry on their treadmills or respective uh, machines next to you in the gym. Because you're there for you. That's how a lot of people lose sight in the gym. They're looking at everybody else. No. 
Because if they're sitting up there chilling, talking on their phone, doing nothing, believe me, they starving themselves or something. Because it's not, it's not possible. You have to be hitting it hard. You need to be worried about yourself. Be in the zone. Don't worry about anybody else when you're getting your workout on. So I hope that this was helpful in kind of guiding you in the way of uh, building yourself a workout that works best for you. You know I love y'all. You know we got much more to come in this series, much more for me to teach you. Uh, hope that you all stay encouraged. I hope that everything that I'm saying is relatable and that it's easy for you to understand. Again, um, I love you guys and much love and stay tuned. Peace beautiful brown baby dog. Make sure you add your girl on Facebook at Nina Ellis Hervey. Starting to run out of room so I'm about to have a fan page soon. Also, add me on Twitter at beautiful brown baby doll. Spelled a little differently. Hit your girl up. Much love.